Tunumbu has not visited the South East State two weeks to APC presidential primary election. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, Asawaji Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, has not visited any state in the South East geopolitical zone in its nationwide consultation for his 2023 presidential bid. Tunumbu, who made this, his intention known to the public in January 2022, has consulted many stakeholders in the Southwest, not Central, not East, and not West. Surprisingly, the former governor of Lagos State has not visited any state in the Southeast and South of Joe political zones. Although his allies and support groups in the region have taken his messages to some stakeholders in the two zones, but Tunumbu has not visited in person. Less than two weeks until presidential primary elections, aspirants are meeting with more people and some have already been to all 36 states of the Federation. The reason why Tirumbu shunned the two regions in his consultation is known to the public. However, it might be because of many prominent sons of the region are also vying for the same position. Regardless of the fact that many Southeast senators are vying for the presidency, Tirumbu still needs to visit the region. This will demonstrate that if elected president in 2023, he will be a unifier and someone who will carry everyone along. Most importantly, Tinubu's major contender, Vice President MBC Banjo, has visited some states in the region. It is important that Tinubu do the same before the APC presidential primary election. What is your opinion on this? What could be the reason why Tinubu shunned the Southeast in his consultation? Well, well, well. Okay. Well, we all know that the Southeastern Bijan, they don't support. In fact, I think one of the reasons is because deep down, he knows that these people, they have been supporting for a very long time. They have been supporting. I mean, they have not been supporting... For a very long time, it is clear that the southeastern region, <laughs> a lot is going on there. Agitation is going on. Those who want to be, should I say, those who want, those who wanted the this um, Biafra to 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 emerge, they are there, and maybe that is his reason. Why going to that side? The animal, he should be careful there. He did not say he's going to that side. And now what for you? This is not correct. Tenebo loves South East and South South like every other zone he has visited. He's trying to seek the best for the last. Are you? Are you? Are you Tenebo's campaign manager now? Ha! Huh, no now. How can you expect him to visit the old eastern region? He can only behave like his elder brother, Biola. Who discarded the region to become president? And I say to him, How market? Tinubu, 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 better learn from history. You are unawardly sinking and you will certainly sink. Hmm. Thanks for letting people know that the Igbos are not June 12th. Whatever you want, do it. He will not visit your dot. Vote for him you like. It's not a do or die affair. Vote for a candidate. Stop lamentations. Nobody forced you. He is rest assured for the Fulani Jihadist Okara Riders ethnic groups he brought down into Lagos State of their votes to give him a win. Then, why complaining? Did he complain? Did he not visit you? Vote for a candidate and stop lamentation. Nobody forced you. You people are just unbelievable. Because the marginal vote from the South East does not make any meaningful impact on national election results. So why waste time and resources to go to a place that has little influence? In either your success or failure in the in the election. That the North has a bigger population than the South is a sham and a fraud. 
The colonial master mainly used that to deceive themselves and not us. Records has proved that more people live in the coastal areas than the Sahara Desert like northern Nigeria. The Nigeria Federation is a fraud wrongly constituted. It has to be corrected. Hmm. Okay. That simply implies that South is not part of its intention to be is not part of its intent, Nigeria that he is contestant for. You are not normal. How can he go to the place where there is no security? Moreover, no presidential power to employ security for him. They will just kill him there. He is the biggest enemy because he is the Igbo's biggest enemy because of Baba Bari. You are totally wrong. You're very, very wrong. They need to see Banjo live out the region. Please, this is your due followership. Tenable will end on the 30th. You people eyes will clear. Watch out. Tenable has his catchment areas where he believes his victory swing f will come from. Former Eastern region does not feature there. There are Siwaju that I know will not take lectures from any political detractors. The political colossus know what strategies and political sense he's going to use to accomplish his presidential success. Asiwaji Bola Tenembo, the Jagoban worldwide, still remains the best experience for the position at the top. God bless Asiwaju and God bless Nigeria. Hmm. Okay. Campaign never starts. All those moving around before primary election will have little or no effect if you cannot pin down big wigs of a party now. Though it is good to visit all geopolitical zones anyway, it is still wasting our scars reported. Resources. He is saving the best for the last. Eagles and South South are equally very important to his winning the ticket. Just allow the master strategist play his chess game. There's an indication of what awaits them should they become the president. Nevertheless, there is a God who rules in the affairs of men if the low sumness is deserved. So, if the low sumness is deserved, so let it be. But if not, whoever digs a pit will fall into it himself. He actually knows what's wrong. He actually knows what is wrong and against the spirit of fairness, equality and unity of Nigeria for him to contest, knowing fully well that his region has done eight years as president and is about to finish as vice president. Although, I am not surprised that a Yoruba man has imbued selfishness in them, but they complained about fairness, equality, and unity. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen.